I actually want to show a little bit um, our walls tool, wall tools, sorry. So um, I have to show you this little snake. I actually created it earlier before this session since um, there was a, a customer of us showed us a question of he wanted to create a ramp. And I wanted to show you this situation, which is kind of a very, very common landscape situation where you have um, you know, you're supposed to create stepped retaining walls along uh, some sort of geometry. Um, so this case would demonstrate it better. You know, you have a road and you have a park and you need to create a retaining wall um, in the middle of them. So this is completely passable using Revit native tools. It's just that what you would have to do if you would uh, use Revit native tools, you would have to like divide this part of the wall assign top and bottom elevation, divide, uh, create this part of the wall and assign top and bottom elevation. And now imagine, you know, doing it for that. So you have to manually calculate every segment of the wall and then go to 3D to see where you did mistakes and then correct them. Um, so I think one of our strongest automations would be the arrange wall automation. We Let's go to environment tab and select the arrange walls uh, tool. Now you really do have um, many, you know, parameters you can define here, like the minimum height of the wall, the embedment, the steps uh, between the different parts of the wall, etc. I'm not going to go into each and every one of them. They're pretty um, detailed in our uh, user guide, so you can just hover over. Any, any one of our commands and click F1 and you'll get to our user guide. Um, but just to explain what it does, so let's take a look at the wall on a plan view. Our algorithm uh, all automatically recognize elevations on both sides of the wall. And then it knows to recognize uh, which of them is lower and which of them is higher. And it just places the stepped wall Along um, along this topography, you can see it's stepped on the bottom and it's stepped on the top. Now, one really important thing is that all our elements, everything you create using environment tools, are regular Revit native elements and categories. So if you created something with environment for Revit and somebody else get, gets the file, then you, know, you can edit it just like you would any other um, element in Revit. That's uh, pretty important. And then to streamline the entire process, you know, if you would have to place railings, again, you would have to just place them one by one on each segment of the wall. So we have a tool, a wall railing tool that just allows you to place railings um, all at once on the wall. You know, we can assign it a start and end uh, offset and, and path offset. And again, that's a, a regular a railing in Revit, it's just placed automatically. And also environment can recognize whenever we have the same elevation, continuous elevation, it creates one railing element. But if I edit the wall, then environment knows to separate it into different elements. So everything has to be dynamic in order to have a very convenient workflow, very flexible workflow, everything has to be dy dynamic and update and just to wrap it up, um, if, if there's landscape, if there are landscape architects in the crowd and anyone who already did what I'm gonna show in AutoCAD, please, I don't know, raise your hand, say something, because for me it was mind blowing the first time Ilya uh, showed it to me, that was like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna work with you. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's the, the wall layout tool. Let's select the direction. So what this tool is basically going to do, it's going to create an unfolded wall elevation, uh, a 2D drawing. That's basically a, a construction document of this wall. Even though it's a curved wall, it knew to, how to unfold it. And this is a 2D, um, 2D elevation consists of you know, field regions. So for example, this field region is a new type generated by environment, but it has the same type name as the wall itself, which basically allows you to go ahead and tag everything you can see here. Uh, you can also, um, one second, what, where's my spot elevation? So you can also uh, showcase true elevations of everything. And um, you can also have, you know, these lines represent if you, 
if I select this line, you can see that, one second, let me select it. Um, no, this is the field region. Yes, this is the reason. These lines are our pinned element. So, yeah, you can see that this is the existing surface line. So the existing topper surface was not on the view when I when I selected the, the wall layout uh, feature, but it can still recognize existing topo surface. So everything, uh, our mindset, everything is directed into uh, the entire uh, site design process from beginning to construction documents. So whenever we create a tool, we create usually a series of tools. Um, and then just to show you a new tool that we have, which is pretty cool. So there are certain situations in landscape where you cannot design curved walls because sometimes you use precast elements and these elements are straight. So this idea came to us again from a customer asking us, what would I do in this case? So that's a pretty new command, approximate wall path. You can simply say, okay, so I wanna divide this wall into straight parts of one meter each. And then you could see that I, I selected the entire walls, uh, chain of walls, even the straight parts, but this one can filter only the curved parts. And when I click OK, you can see that these are all um, divided into parts. Now the railings got erased, but that's not really an issue since with just a click, I can go ahead and replace these um, railings over here. And yeah, that's it. So really taking a look at the entire process. So these are basically straight parts that are following the curve that we already created. Mm -hmm, cool. And, and what if you wanted to make mm -hmm. the top of the wall sloped? I think I've had a discussion with uh, Ilya about yes. that. And I think one of the solution is to place a reference plane, right, for the moment. Uh, yeah, so let me control C for a second. Um, so we get that a lot. That's a pretty common question. And the good news are that we are working on it, creating a tool that will allow you to not create a stepped wall, but a sloped wall that's following a certain, um, a certain uh, reference. Mm -hmm. So there, at the moment, there are two, two main workarounds. The first workaround is to maybe duplicate this floor, uh, put it on top of the wall and then use the attach top base command to just attach the top of the wall and then it would be just uh, sloped. It's not the best solution. It has some glitches uh, sometimes. And then the other solution would be um, to just um, create a model in place. Uh, let's go to walls over here. Um, and let's use the sweep blend command and pick a path. So let's take one of the curved uh, parts and that's the edge. And then you would have to have a profile. Um, I think this is the one. No, this is the one. So you would have to create um, a profile on every part of the wall. Let's do that. Let's use it with the pick line tool and so that that's a that's a pretty tedious uh, work as well I have to say and and that's exactly the reason why we are trying to solve it at the moment um, to allow something a lot easier but um, the downside of this solution would also be that when you have chain of walls, of curved walls, then Revit would not allow you to just create one sweep land um, for all walls. So you would have to create uh, a different sweep land for every uh, wall segment, let's say something like that. Um, so yes. And now let's create this sweep land and define it as a void and just cut the geometry. Um, this and that, and that's, that's basically how we create it. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and so that's the workaround at the moment. I'm sorry. To yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Looking forward to, uh, hit being part of your plugin and uh, somebody asked, uh, 
Could you not just create a wall profile to get uh, the slope to match offset of the slope ground plane? Isn't there an issue when you modify the, uh, the, the profile? Or you can't on a curved wall, right? So yeah, on a curved wall, that's, that's uh, a problem. I mean, mm -hmm. first of all, you can see that yeah, the edit the tool profile is just not available. Is disabled. Yeah. Um, sometimes what I do when I'm a little bit lazy is I just, I just create, um, like I create one model line as a path and then I'm, I'm just creating this void on a model line. And sometimes it's not really accurate if you're not parallel to the, the profile that you want to see, but 